Hello everyone, let me explain the setup here to you. This is a basic uh, Carambola board with uh, two decoupling capacitors, a linear 33 volt uh, voltage regulator, a USB port that uh, leads to the keyboard here, and uh, two SPI lines, uh, one which leads to the touchscreen that's over here, and the other one that leads to several shift registers here that'll convert the SPI data back to 16-bit uh, uh, parallel data which the uh, display can then use. And I've actually written uh, a driver for uh, the uh, display so it'll act as a frame buffer. So let's turn it on, shall we? At the moment the Carambola is in the bootloader and we'll be seeing a console shortly now. And as you can see, Linux is quite happy uh, with using the display as a standard output uh, for kernel messages, etc. And right now I have your basic console. I can enter text on the keyboard and it'll uh, show up on, on the display. So let's start something, shall we? I think I'm going to start uh, needs a bit more data than uh, fits on the Carambola's flash, so I fetch it off NFS. And here we go. You might recognize the game. It's Monkey Island uh, running under ScumVM. There's no sound because I couldn't be bothered to hook up a USB sound card, but apart from that it's running uh, quite fine. It actually interfaces with the touchscreen alright. And you can uh, see the speed of the display by watching the screen uh, move. As you can see it's not too quick, but because of the optimizations the game still is playable som somewhat. Yes, I want to be a pirate. So, as you can see, full frame uh, updates are a bit slow, but aside from that, everything works. So, I hope you enjoyed the video.